Hey there, welcome back. I'm Dr. Dave, and I just wanted to um, share with you about five plus months ago, I started microdosing magic mushrooms or mushrooms that contain psilocybin. Um, the reason I started doing this five months ago or so is because I really um, I had some issues going on and I really wanted to, I did a lot of reading and I really wanted to try to do what other people say these can do and like kind of like reset your life. And um, I was dealing with uh, some, definitely some depression, anxiety, um, just not being able to get certain things done. My outlook on life was, seemed to be going kind of down. Um, I just wasn't feeling great about my life. So I wanted to start this and I did. And I had incredible success with microdosing, which um, I explained on my previous video and I will continue to explain on, continue to explain on future videos. But today I wanted to share with you uh, what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I, um, my wife went out, she was gonna be gone for the whole day and I decided I was gonna eat one gram of magic mushrooms. And for those of you that don't really know the, the proper dosages, um, I microdose generally about every other day, roughly, roughly 0.2 grams, 200 milligrams. Uh, that seems to be like a real, kind of a perfect tweaked microdose. You don't feel any, um, and nothing psychoactive, you can totally get along with your day and, and nobody knows that you've taken it. It's just kind of like something that's working in the background. That's why it's microdosing. But yesterday I wanted to try a gram, which is, again, it's not considered a large dose at all, but in the vernacular that people use, in the, in the um, people call it like a um, museum dose or maybe even a mini dose. So it's, it's enough to get your senses up and, um, be more aware of what's going on and, and typically like, you know, perfect probably for walking through a museum and you know, wow, that looks really cool or, or, or walking through nature. Um, but I, I want to explain, I do not take these, I do not use these magic mushrooms um, for partying reasons, for recreational purposes. It's, it's purely to help my body, my mind and my life improve um, and get, uh, constant improvement every day. That's what I'm trying to do. So what did the one gram feel like? Well, um, I'll share with you exactly what my day was like. Uh, so I ate a gram. I kind of hung around the house for a while. I think I laid down on the sofa waiting for something to happen, happen, happen. And nothing really like happened. It was definitely not a trip involved. There was no, no weird things didn't look weird. Colors did not really even become more vibrant. I certainly was not hallucinating in any way. Um, I felt that I could absolutely get on with my day, even though it was much more than a microdose. I still felt that I could totally function. I could drive, but I felt the desire to, first of all, I felt like really positive. You, you ever have like just a really good day, just you feel good about things and everything just goes right. And, and you're okay, like talking to people and, and just, you just feel really great. Well, that's the kind of day I had on, on one gram of magic mushrooms. I um, called a place right around the corner from me and I, it's, a, it's a, a nail place, a manicure and pedicure place. And I said, do you have an opening for a pedicure for me? And I went in there and I sat down there for probably at least 45 minutes and I got like a, um, a, a, a spa type pedicure and so it was it felt like heaven I was just laying back totally in in like 100 100% relaxation phase and what she was doing to my toenails and to my feet and massaging them I could have I could have done it all day I, I you lose sense of a little bit of time so I don't really know exactly how much time she spent but if I had to look back and figure I'd probably say like I said about 45 minutes or so then I just drove around a little bit, did some things with my car. Uh, I, I found a restaurant and ordered some stuff and sat outside at an outdoor table to be in nature and just ate a little bit of food. And it was just an amazing, amazing day. And again, um, it, it melted away any kind of, well, the microdosing itself has melted away any anxiety that I may have had in the past. I mean, it, my anxiety is pretty much all but gone. I'd say my depression is pretty much all but gone. Um, I had some problems with blood pressure rising and that is totally, totally back to normal. As a matter of fact, it's probably even a little bit on the low side. It's, it's the low, my blood pressure now is the lowest it's been in decades. 
I only wish I would have known about magic mushrooms and psilocybin decades ago because a lot of the crap that I went through um, with uh, my marriage and my divorce and things like I think I, I could have been um, a better person and, and in a better frame of mind and understood things better and handled things a lot better had I known about magic mushrooms. Again, I use these I don't. I don't use these to go to parties. I'm, first of all, I don't even go to parties. <laughs> I'm not a partier. But I would never eat magic mushrooms if I went to a concert. I just. I'm not using them recreationally to get high. In fact, I don't even get high um, with with magic mushrooms at all. Um, you know, if you want to get high, go use some cannabis and, and have some fun. And I'm, I have nothing against that whatsoever. But magic mushrooms, psilocybin. I look at those as kind of more of like a, a sacred. Um, ancient medicine that is given to us through nature and it's there for us to use it's been used by indigenous people for for thousands and thousands of years um, they must know something or they must have known something about it that we're only starting to figure out um, but it's a, it's a really really um, powerful medicine in terms of mental health resetting your mind and um, just feeling better every single day. I totally am starting to maybe figure out more like what life is all about and what other people are all about and accept people for what they are and uh, not getting angry and not getting hostile and, not, and um, just letting things go with the flow. And these have really helped me in an incredible way. I just want to let you know that um, I'm not recommending that you do anything illegal if, if they are not legal in uh, where you're watching this or where you're living. I'm not promoting any type of illegal activity. Um, but however, however, um, like I said again, I, I really wish I would have known about this medicine decades ago because people tell me and I've experienced this myself that um, after a month or two, you're basically resetting your body as if you would have had a decade or more of, of um, psycho psychiatric or psychological talk therapy. Things move so much faster with magic mushrooms as opposed to talk therapy, which I'm not against, but it's very slow moving and things don't happen overnight. Whereas with magic mushrooms, you're resetting things, it's resetting your your neural pathways or whatever it might be very very quickly and I noticed um, changes for the better very very quickly very quickly um, so yesterday I did one gram um, I understand from people that are experts at this uh, that every once in a while you should do a, um, a larger dose like microdosing is great but a larger dose will actually move things along even faster. That's one of the reasons I tried one gram yesterday. I'll probably go up and experiment with a little bit higher and higher. Um, but I don't want to do anything stupid either. Um, I want to be very careful because I am a pro very careful person. And um, we'll take it from there. And I'll continue to experiment. And I'll continue to share um, my honest stories with you. If I have a bad experience, I'll be happy to share. If I have a great experience, a life-changing experience, or somewhere in between, I'll be happy to share my journey with you because I um, care about helping other people and it took me too long to figure this out. I don't want you to have to wait this long like I did. So um, I hope that helps you. I'll see you next time. I'll continue to uh, put these videos out regarding my journey with magic mushrooms. Until next time, I'm Dr. Dave. See you later.